equipment here. So I think I'll just uh, be a little careful on the way out the door. All right, the extra pack might not be a problem at all. But this, on the other hand, is a little unwieldy. I'm gonna try to shoulder this puppy. Just don't wanna get tangled up in it. So when you've got gear on your back, I would suggest just moderating everything early. You can get carried away with gear on your back so long as it's not like 30 pounds. But yeah, with gear on your back, I would suggest doing what I do and just taking it very easy, half speeding it and leaving room for error. Because all of that uh, twisting and bending, flexing at the knees is just compounded when you've got the extra gear. You're good. I'm gonna get rid of this guy because he's extremely indecisive. All right, we're on. All these cracks, I kind of like the diagonal pumps. So yeah, everything's quite a bit slower with the extra 30 pounds, including my voice, I think. It's a lot more tiring. I don't feel any less balanced. I feel pretty solid and sturdy in my line. But yeah, reaction times. Oh. And fitness are suffering. Star serpents, they suck. It would suck to hit the dirt with this equipment on my back. So I'm gonna sit and watch these skateboarders when I arrive. I think a lot of people don't like drills. They get these things on their feet and they just want to fly. And I understand just by the very nature of the word drill that it sounds like hard work. So the way I like to have fun is bring a whole pile of pucks and create some patterns on the surface that I can weave around or practice stopping on. I like these small patterns. It's an experiment on when to let your wheels slide or stop or when to transfer energy smoothly through a corner by rolling it. It's the perfect game for equalizing your turns and inside-outside edge work. I only did four sprints on this day. Check out how similar these first two sprints are. That's pretty crazy. I actually thought I'd copied the same clip on first examination. Say bizarre. Number three, however, the slightly different one is barely faster than the two identical sprints. I'll study this one to see what I did right. Yes, there is no use for this activity at all. I could call it controlled perturbation training, as it does challenge balance and base control, but it's really just me being bored. I do always aim for the ting of the metal, Throwing with every fiber of my remaining youth must be rewarded by more than just a gentle swish of net. I'm throwing from beyond center ice here. Apparently the goal is to inflict permanent injury on the shoulders. Okay. Ashley McIsaac says, Ashley. Why do you only use knee protection when wearing long pants? Is it a vanity thing? Uh, I would like to know on. the answer to this question myself. Good question, Ashley. I really love wearing hockey knee pads, and the hockey knee pads I have, strangely enough, because I'm such a colossus, are juniors. But I bought the juniors <laughs> because I wanted small ones that didn't uh, impede on my, on my skate tongue. So I wear these hockey pads that can come undone in the, um, in the calf. So I like to wear them behind pants so they stay nice and solid. And yeah, they would look really, really strange with shorts. Floyd the Barber 71. Right. How is it going from the big three wheels back to these? 
Um, it was a lot more tiring. It wasn't as swift, but I did like the control, especially on my stops. It felt like I was hitting every single mark I chose, except maybe one on this last session. Oh, oh, this one. Hi, man. Love your videos from Angel Dimitru. I have a question, if you don't mind. What headphones do you use? I use the Sony over-the-ear headphones that go behind the head. I don't know the uh, X2R PX1 type code for them, but they're Sony. <laughs> and they cost like 28 bucks. <laughs> and I wear them boxing and lifting, and I sweat into them like crazy. So they're really good. Sony, I would like a contract. <laughs> Jeffrey Lebowski, that's a good name, asks, Dude, your video editing is really fantastic. Thank you. Not a skate question, but how long does it usually take you to edit together a full video? Seems like you put a lot of effort into this and it is much appreciated. That's a very nice comment. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, something I don't talk about much because I don't like to talk about my difficulties. It's, uh, <laughs> they always uh, unfold not quite as planned. So when things are going right, no audio, no video is lost. It could be like a seven hour edit but there's always an emergency. So the last one turned into like a 16 hour edit because I dumped a lot of footage for lighting and crackling in the audio reason. So yeah, it fluctuates, but ideally it would be seven hours, eight hours edit, not, not including conversion of files and uploading and all that stuff. City Skater says, yeah. I love his style, but think personally, he's just a bit too nice. It must be the Canadian in him. Really? too nice. We'll see about nice. I'm drinking a beer on a patio in the fashion district, so that's not... Yeah, that's nice. Amber Nicole broke my arm in two places doing what I love, Ooh. rollerblading. Getting cast changed tomorrow. Wish me luck. Good luck, Amber. I hope your cast change goes well and your healing is leaving you stronger. No more questions.